Welcome to this tutorial on how to customize voice attack for Star Citizen. And I also include uh, settings in how to set up a voice pack from ACS Voice Pack. Um, I assume that you've already got voice attack, voice attack installed and that you also have purchased at least one voice pack. Um, now, the first thing that I did when I ran the program, notice here that the the microphone is turned off, and I turned it off so that while I'm talking, it's not trying to actually execute any of the commands that I'm saying. Um, so, um, the first thing I want to do here is go into the wrench, and uh, I'll show you that here. Um, I have loaded on startup the profile for Alex. Okay. So every time I open up the program, it's going to run this particular voice pack. It's going to load it in. Now, um, you see this icon up here with the pencil if you click on this this will actually open up your voice pack but notice that every time you click on these commands everything is grayed out and if you try to modify it you can't whenever every time you click on it you're going to get this error message now this causes problems for a lot of people because it's confusing and you may think that this is this is wrong that there's something wrong with your installation but this is actually by design the developers of the voice pack decided that because there are so many changes in star citizen that they were going to lock down their star citizen voice packs so that you could not make any changes to it directly because it was just too much trouble to try and and manage um, all of the, the questions and the problems that people were having because the game is still in open development and every three months we get a new patch and things keep changing so what they decided to do was just to completely lock down their voice pack so that you cannot update or modify any of their commands directly but that's not the end of the world as as we're going to get into here um, in this video now the first thing that you want to do is you actually want to configure the voice pack to uh, at least work with the, the the commands that are already built into star citizen and the way you do that is through something called the customizer now if you've ever heard about this customizer um, you will notice that there are absolutely no icons and there's absolutely no way to actually open up the customizer directly from within the voice attack menu so how do you do it uh, you have to know the voice command or the key combo combination to open it up and I'm going to put both the voice command and the actual keys that you can press in the description so that you you won't have to remember how to open this thing up so the voice command which won't work right now but it's the voice command is protocol override customize my settings and the key presses are the left alt left shift left control and press enter so I hit those first three keys on the left hand side and then press enter opening and there there is the customizer now I'm not gonna go over everything in here because a lot of this is straightforward um, but the most important things are two things the keyboard control and the voice trigger editor so click on keyboard control and what you need to do is you need to set this path here now if you've been playing Star Citizen for a while you and you have peripherals like maybe 
joystick, a whole toss, throttle, whatever, you probably have customized and you're familiar with the mappings and you have customized uh, your own profile for your key mappings, your key bindings. Well, you need to tell Voice Attack exactly where that folder is. And this is the place to do it. So you have to put this path in here. Now, this is very important, especially in, in Star Citizen 3.14, or actually since 3.13, they actually changed this path. So if you had it and it was working before, and now suddenly it's not working anymore, this is the reason why. They moved the path over here. So make sure you know exactly where the path is. Once you get the path in here, then you'll be able to select any custom binding files that you have in that folder. So they all show up in here. So mine, I just, right now, I got it set to um, left stick. So once you have that set, and you don't have to come back in here again, every time you open Voice Attack, it will automatically open that file and it will download any custom settings that you have um, in your your file in your key bindings file now let's look at the voice trigger editor now this these are the actual commands that you say to execute something in voice attack so I'm just gonna quickly go over the syntax for um, some of these commands so that you understand how this works because this is exactly what you say now this you can update and modify you can't change any of the commands or the key bindings in any of the official voice pack files but you can change what you actually say so let's take a look at this first one here so the first part of the command is protocol override then you have two words or two phrases inside of brackets so they're separated by a semicolon so that means that it's optional you can pick either one of these to say and the same thing for the next group of brackets and then finally you have the word settings so for this command to work I have to start with protocol override pick my options and end in the word settings now what's really neat about this is if you click over here on this little this little icon next to it you will see pop up every possible combination of this command so you'll know exactly what you're going to get if you decide to to play around with this and change um, these these commands and you can copy to to the clipboard if you want all right so that's how you change whatever is you're actually saying the words that you're actually saying okay so and that's all we're gonna do in there so let's get out okay. of that so now um, now what you can also do is if you already have uh, an existing um, profile a voice attack profile that's maybe somebody else made and you wanted to import it um, you can click over here you see these two things there's actually two separate icons right here one with the pencil and one with these these little symbols over here you can either right or left click on it doesn't matter which one and you'll get this drop down menu for this for these symbols okay so right now what we want to do is we want to import um, so I'm gonna click on import and uh, I just have a a profile sitting out here and when I import this profile it'll show up here so any commands that are in that profile are now here and now this this is a, the active profile so now if I click on the pencil when I look at the commands here I can actually modify these commands because these are all customized so if I click on one of these commands I can I can do whatever I want and I can set this up the way that I want and there's I have a little bit more to say about that in a minute so now let's let's um, create a a very simple basic um, profile from scratch so 
I'm going to click on my little icon over here, say create new profile. I'm just going to call it SC and say new command. Now in 3.14 they've changed all of the the power settings, the power capacity um, for combat. And let's say that there's a you don't just want to um, push a button to increase the power to one system or decrease it to another. One of the things that I like to do is I like to equalize the power between my weapons and my shields and I don't need any power to my engines. So this is totally customized and it's not something that you can do with one command with any of the voice packs. So what I'm going to say is uh, weapons 50 separated by a semicolon and then I'm going to say shields 50 so this gives me the option I can say either weapons 50 or shields 50 and it's going to do the exact same thing for this particular command so I'm going to hit key press and when I hit key press I'm going to hit F5 OK hit it again F7 OK press it again F5 press it again F7 All right okay so these are the commands that I want to execute to give me what I want now uh, the voice packs have a lot of sounds that are included in the pack but they never actually use in any of the default commands that come with the voice pack. So when I, when I execute this command, I want to know that it was actually executed and I'll get a, a audio cue by using a sound. So the way that I can do that is click on other, go to sounds, play a sound, and then when this window pops up, click on this little icon over here and this will take me out to a folder now this folder was installed when I installed my voice pack and as you can see every one of these folders is a separate category and there are hundreds literally hundreds of of sounds that have been added to um, the voice pack that you can use however you want so in this case um, I'm going to look under power management and I'm going to go down to this one. Re power, diverting power to requested systems. So once it shows up in here, you can click on preview and you can hear what it, hear what it says. Diverting power to requested systems. And if that's good, then just click OK. And now it's added. So now every time I say either weapons 50 or shields 50 it's going to to play that sound and execute these commands okay so and also notice that when I close it it actually separated the the two uh, commands um, here so say I click on done and I can test it it's just going to hit the function keys. It's not going to affect anything. So let me turn this back on. Weapons 50. Diverting power to requested systems. See, and that's how you can actually test your commands. When you actually see here in this, this window, it said that the command, it's green and it was recognized. And it actually repeats what I whatever I said. So when it's green here, that means that the command is working. And of course, you can go into the game and test it to make sure that it's working. Now, the other part to this is, what happens if you actually want to use all of those default commands? Because there's no reason for you to have to sit here and try to manually add every individual command in the game because there's just too many of them. And all of that work has already been done for you and is included in the voice packs. It's the reason why people purchase the pack in the first place. However, you don't have access to that when you're running your own profile. But the trick to all of this 
is that you can do something called profile linking where you can literally combine all of your custom key commands with the voice pack commands so that you can use them both at the same time so let me show you how to do that so what we want to do let me see we want to go here you click on the, uh, the pencil go to options and now right here where it says include commands from other profiles click on this click on the plus sign click on the drop down and now you can select any profile and it, it could even be a custom profile it doesn't have to be a, um, an ACS pack voice off but I'm, I'm gonna pick the Alex one because that's what we're talking about now so when I click OK and click OK again here where you see it gray it's it's listed in here even though it's like grayed out but this means now that I have access to all of the Alex commands from within the custom profile that I just created now there's still one more part to this um, if I click done now all of that the options have all been saved the the trick to this is is that the Alex profile because it's an official profile it must be loaded before I can actually have access to those commands even though I have them linked so in order for any of this to work I have to select Alex and then you'll see it getting loaded here and then select my custom command and now I have access to all of those commands from both profiles now you can save yourself some time if you actually do what I did in the beginning here by going to the wrench and setting the Alex profile to load on startup because this you know whatever voice pack you're using the most you know it would just save you a step because you have to have this loaded or else you won't um, have access to any of those commands even though they're still linked so that's an important thing to remember and um, that's pretty much it um, the only other thing that I would suggest you do is just um, just write down on a notepad uh, just a few of the most common commands that you use until you um, can can memorize them so that you don't have to keep looking them up um, now in the, the description I have a link to uh, the, the voice attack website and the HCS star citizen voice packs because these are actually two separate companies so you you have to go to both websites in order to get um, this working and I have a link to their discord uh, the the discord like I said earlier in in the beginning you know if you have any questions or any issues with any of this stuff they have uh, technical people there that will answer all of your questions and you know they might even uh, help you get this thing working or or you might even you know whatever whatever uh, issues you have they can help you and you can leave comments um, below this video and if and uh, I'll do my best to help you too and uh, that's it I will see you in the verse